Qualcomm hasn't been much prominent in the laptop sector as they have been in the mobile market. The most powerful Android smartphones are now powered by Qualcomm's processor and it performs incredibly well. But they are not just going to stick to that forever. According to the company's new CEO, Cristiano Amin, they are planning to build to dominate the laptop chips world as well. Talking about the powerful laptop's processor, only two giants have been ruling for quite some time, Apple and Intel, and the third one could be Nuvia. Want to find out how Qualcomm is planning to beat Apple's M1? Then watch till the end of this video, as here, we will be talking about Qualcomm's laptop chip making roadmap. So without further ado, let's get started. With the launching of Apple's M1 chipset, it seems like it is almost impossible to surpass in terms of performance. It has performed better in every benchmark test compared to the other Intel-based laptops. And since Apple started using their very own chipset, they have been able to reduce battery consumption by quite a margin. The new M1 MacBook delivers more battery life compared to the previous MacBooks. Even Intel and AMD do not produce chips as energy efficient as Apple's. So how can Qualcomm compete with the M1? Well, Qualcomm chief executive Cristiano Amin told Reuters on Thursday he believes his company can have the best chip on the market and to help him, he has a team of chip architects who formerly worked on the Apple M1 chip making. Earlier this year, Qualcomm announced the $1.4 billion acquisition of Nuvia, a startup founded by three former Apple engineers who were previously working to develop chips design. So it seems Qualcomm is leaving no stone unturned for building up a more powerful processor. Cristiano Amen also said that they are planning to start selling Nuvia-based laptop chips next year. But if an ARM is able to provide a CPU that performs better than what Nuvia can, then surely they would go for the ARM-based CPUs. Basically, Qualcomm is not planning to build their very own CPU design. Rather, they would have Nuvia's designs for cloud computing companies that want to build their own chips and make them worthy of a computer by using parts of ARM. Moreover, as Apple 5G network connectivity with their M1 iPad Pro, Qualcomm is looking forward to do the same by enabling 5G connectivity into laptops. And for this, they are producing modems with a powerful central processor unit. The battery life is also a big concern for the Qualcomm chipset if they want to compete against the M1. Apple has gained great gains by switching to its own chip and made it more battery efficient. So they need to develop a chipset that can provide greater battery life. Talking about the other available processor, if Qualcomm somehow manages to build a chipset that can beat the M1, the other company's processors will not even be a competitor. So let's wait till Qualcomm launches their new chipset and hope it would be a worthy competitor of Apple's M1. Let us know your thoughts on this new chipset. Like and share with your friends if you find this video helpful. Subscribe to our channel if you want more videos like this on your feed.